Ah. <laughs> yes. I am changing things in the stream. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I know you can still hear me. It's just ridiculous. Okay, now we're back. Oh, that's so weird that there's nothing down there. Ugh. There we are. So hello, PS Nation. Um, I talk about in my review, which is not going to come out for several days at least, probably a week, of, uh, I talk about This awesome soundtrack, which is really great. It's it's like a mix from um, 70s television horror things like Bad Ronald and um, Rod Serling's Night Gallery, and um, even Rosemary's Baby, the theme from that. La 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 la. La 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 la. It's just incredible. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling. I love that. That's wonderful. Okay. Now... Something that I did was I turned off the um, reticle. And I talk about that uh, in the review that will come out soon. The middle of the screen is the middle of the screen. Um, I don't know why you need a reticle. Apart from the fact that it just puts... Oh, it will, Sean. It will. Um, that it puts a uh, distance between, uh, you know, the player and the game. So I removed it. Because the middle of the screen is the middle of the screen, as I said. Now, here we have an interesting portrait. This is right at the beginning of the game. And there seems to be a woman on the floor. She did not fall off of the chair because clearly there is no chair right there she seems to be handcuffed and the uh, little girls look like they're playing a card game or something maybe on another chair witnessing 
what's going on with their mother. I'm assuming that's their mother. I don't know. It could be a neighbor. You never know. Never know. Okay, so you can pick up items like this. And move them around and look at them. The, uh, this dog's muzzle. Over there. And, uh, then here. We have these. Adorable baby booties. Now, before I open this door. Because I've played this section a few times I want to bring your attention to the floor that we're gonna see uh, because th there is um, something that is gonna come up after that that you should probably notice well you will because I'm gonna tell you about it um, I love how th these are almost motion controls. Uh, you hit R2 and it grabs the door and it shows you which way to move the stick in order to open the door. Again, I say, I'm going to open this door. I want you to look at the floor when I do this. Do you see that? And now here we have, Dear Sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you will receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton. Denton, Denton. Pesky Pets Pacif Pacification. So then, if the professionals have been through this house already, and when you open the door you see a rat scurry across, are you insane? Um, is that a car outside on the street that is... Also creepy as hell. A collar. Um, I don't know if you can hear this. I would hope that you can't. But there is a car in my in my street with a uh, crazy alarm going off. Okay, so. Now, is this a dog collar? Or is this a collar that was put on a person? I don't know. Can't tell. Hmm. I figured it'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Now, for anyone who's an artist at all, <laughs> in any way, you know how well that, that is exactly the thing. Hmm. 
Um, I've already been through this before so that I can tell you. Rose door, burnt umber, sienna. Air fresheners, 50 packs. Now, why would somebody need 50 packs of air fresheners? No, Sean, the alarm actually did stop. Thank goodness. Um, I've already been through here. Look at... I just want to bring your attention to the beauty and detail of what these developers of this game have done. I mean, that is gorgeous. And... Uh... There is something else going on in that picture as well, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share it with you. Hmm. I guess I would like to uh, see what's in here. Mm. Okay. Paprika. It's a spice. It's a little spice. I don't know that there's ever a time when you need a gallon of paprika or a gigantic thing of paprika and there seems to be some more paprika um by the way i am specifically not showing you because i've already been in here what's going on uh, that's one of the great things about being able to be a gamer and move the camera around like that. Because if you've been in here, you can choose what to show people. What is that? What is that? I'm assuming it's tubers. I don't know. Now, those apples seem pretty fresh, because they go bad quickly, so can just assume that someone is, you know, is in a, around, um, paprika, 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 that is not paprika. Um, I would also like to bring to your attention that uh, a gamer just playing the game and running through this and trying to get, you know, what have. Open this door. Here's the normal gamer thing. Here, let, let, let me show you. Oh, I'm in a kitchen. Blah, blah, blah. I can open all this stuff. Dun, dun, dun. There's nothing in there. That's not very interesting. That's not very interesting. And, by the way, it, the light would have been off. And you'd go in and you'd go, Oh, yeah, it's dark in here. Yeah, whatever. There's a lot of, you know, stuff. And, oh, jars of crap. And then you would leave. Right? You would totally leave that, that room and not see whatever in the hell it was that that was. By the way, what was that? Looks like wine. I'm not really sure. Let me out! Okay. Now, there's a lot of other stuff to uh, examine. I love video games that have toilets in them. Put the seat down, you bastard! You inconsiderate bastard! <laughs> okay. Um, I can't see myself. There. Not sure why. And... Ah. Uh. 
But now that begs the question, why was that on in the first place? Like, who was in here leaving that on? I don't know. Normal. It's fine. And you would assume that there would be a dead body in there or something, but it is a, a hideously dirty tub. God, it looks like my tub bathtub. Remind me, I need to clean my bathtub. <laughs> Okay, so here's something interesting. A little letter. I've written a little letter. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. <clears throat> now, I found this last night and realized that there had to have been, there has to be something some you have to have a light to go down here because at this part of the game um holy crap i would just like to say that last night when i played this on my own i did not see any of this also i would like to say that um rats running around and um, holy crap what yeah I'd like to let you out no, of course it's locked. Ooh, there's a hole underground. Yeah, 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 rats, rats, rats. I hear them. Ach, du meine gute Himmel. Which means, oh my god. By the way, if that fell over, it would burn the house down. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I want to go back upstairs. How do I get there from here? Holy crap! No, when I was playing this last night, um, I went down the stairs and bum, bum, bum. I went downstairs and it was so dark there. Okay. Okay, I gotta go this way. Um. Wait, listen. That, um. When I went downstairs, I couldn't see anything, so I just abandoned that as an idea. Also, 
when I was walking downstairs just then, it sounded like I had a limp. Bum, 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 bum. It's not bum, 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 bum. You know how people walk. It's bum, 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 bum. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Now, um, I'm going to bring your attention to this because I was playing last night for a view for to review the game and holy moly something very simple happened I would also like to bring your attention to Because this is going to also be a part of something important in my review. That painting. Ugh. That painting is a... <laughs> Scary. Reef, this is a gorgeous piano. <laughs> the old piano said, No, you suck. this way. Are you kidding me? Get out of my way. Holy moly. I did you boopy. It's probably not actually. I didn't turn that on. I specifically did not turn that on.
gives. Looks kind of dusty. Okay. Damn you! Okay, so. Uh, the very first time I came up here in this room, when there was a, uh... Please. Yeah, no one's gonna be able to read that but me. <clears throat> um, because I'm a musician. This door sort of flew open and freaked me out. Goodness. Very good. Very great. All right then. Now, see the. This is one of the. Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you one simple question. Have you left your goddamn mind? I love that. Get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Ow. Yeah. That's nice. Really? What I find so interesting about this whole game so far is that it seems that everybody has disappeared right after they lit a fire or a candle. So, I don't know. <laughs> Clearly not. No.
Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Um, I'm going to talk about that in my review as well. Um, about, about this. Putting these things over. Just ridiculous. It's, 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 it's yet another way to disconnect you from the game. And I do not like it. Oh. Well, look at that. A lot of blood. Oh. No, wait. I have. So how do I... I have a key to this room. Or I have a key. But... And here we are again with the same sort of issue that I had with Ether 1, which is, what the fuck, man? I have the key. Let me use it. No. 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 We're not going to let you use it. It's exhausting. Yo, creepy crawly. Well, that's awesome too. So anyway, um, really, the touch pad. Yeah, I've done that. It's not working. I'm touching the the touchpad like crazy. Didn't work. I picked up the key. <laughs> I picked it up over there. So why can't I use it? Oh, poop. Oh, wait. See? Wait. There's a little key thing over there on the... Ugh. Google could help, maybe, except that the game doesn't come out until next Tuesday. Uh, but still, it's, it, yeah. It's been on, you know. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I am totally annoyed. And so disappointed. And I don't understand uh, why these games need to put these fucking barriers up. Seriously. You know, you. what do you want? Do you want us to play a game that has a story? You know what? You can do things that will... make it interesting right to find the clues but when you get to the point where you're like oh, I tried the directional buttons and they, they don't it, it doesn't matter 
put that information in the controls about how to play the game. Because now I'm ugh, frustrated. And I am really holding back everything I have to say now. Um, I'm frustrated by this. Um, and this, just like Ether One, it's stupid. Do you want to tell a story? Then let me get to the story. I just. You know, it's... I want to be scared. I do. I want to play a game where I'm, like, really scared. Where I could be like, Oh my god! It's so spooky. But instead, it seems like they, um... Poof. seems like they put things up in your, you know, ugh. Mm. Okay. See if you can find it, creepy crawly. Because I have a fucking, uh... And the other thing is... Actually, um... You know, creepy crawly is helping me out here, but the, the point is... That you shouldn't have to go to the internet. It's 2016. I'm playing a video game. That, uh, the, the developers have spent, like, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on. And in order to f actually figure out how to play it, you have to go to the internet? What? The fuck? It's just stupid. I mean, I know you want to make a scary game, and that's cool. But maybe you should also think of the rules of gaming. Because you know what game would fail? really quickly if you had to constantly go to the internet to try and figure out how to play it. Mass Effect. I can't fire my gun! I can't fire my gun! How do I fire my gun? What is a spaceship? just beyond stupid. It's really, really making me angry, actually. <laughs> it really is making me angry. Because, not because I can't get through it or any of that. Oh, look, there's an empty spot where uh, a photograph should be or a painting. That's fine. What annoys me is that the controls... The controls are fucking convoluted and don't work. Correct. Correctly. Do not fuck with the player's controls. Don't do it. When you do that, you're getting a low score. 
This war of mine, the little ones. That was ridiculous. The game, I gave it a 4.5, not just because of the narrative, but because you couldn't control the fucking thing. It's stupid. You go to all that trouble to make a, a, a video game, and then you make the control so that people can't really quite get their head around it, because, you know, it's kind of part of the gameplay, and maybe a part of the head of, you know, and the, you know, the, the person's psyche, so maybe we shouldn't... No! Don't ever do that. Ever. If I cannot control it... Bitch, you're an idiot. Talk about highfalutin. Uh, yeah, I did go off. I got angry. <laughs> the most basic thing of a video game is being able to play it. Play it! Right? <laughs> and the conventions are such that do it that way. Just do it that way. You can tell whatever story you want to tell. You can do whatever you want to do. With absolutely every other thing. But do not fuck with my controls. Do not do that. Because... Ugh. You're not going to get a good score, number one. Number two, people are not going to be able to, to play it and enjoy themselves while they do. The last thing you need to do is do that. It's, you know, screwing with people's controls. Just doesn't make any sense at all. That's like, uh, ah, well, I'm going to make a video, uh, I'm going to make a, a movie, but I want everybody in the cinema to sit on their head and watch it upside down. How well do you think that's going to go over? Probably really not very at all, ever. So, anyway, here I am, trying to, uh, yay! Now, Creepy Crawly is helping me, but <clears throat> the point is that they shouldn't have to. As I said, I've been playing video games since, you know, 1977. And I can't... I push all the buttons. And I just can't get, you know... <laughs> Physics-based controls? I'm shaking my controller all over the place. It doesn't seem to help. That doesn't even make sense. No, I mean, I understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. But creepy crawly. I mean... Um, it's... That's locked. Okay, so... Nah. Alright, so... Oy vey. This game is really, really creepy. 
and really awesome until it got really stupid. No, you don't. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. So dumbling here and there, dumbling everywhere, and I must declare, I stepped right on her toes, and when she bought. No, I've done that, creepy crawly. That. That's not the problem. I can do that. And I don't... I'm sorry. I didn't mean that to sound like that. I can do that. That's not a problem. The problem is the keys. How do you use a key to get into an area? If you look on the uh, bottom right hand quadrant, you can see that I have a key, right? <clears throat> Sorry, couldn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I've been, like, you know, opening doors and all that shit. For a long time. I mean, that's not a problem. I probably will do one here. Look, creepy crawly. Ooh. Okay, now it's among the sleep. Now we are among the sleep. If you haven't played that game yet, shame on you. Don't be a doofus. Go play it. Yeah, this is all great. I mean, I can do all of this. But my problem is... Automatically work. Okay, so... There are a ton of doors. That I've been trying to get through and I can't get through them. Like this. Yep. Uh, the icon has changed to a hand with a key in it. Okay. I'm assuming this will work. Why am I hallucinating that? Oh! Look! The key worked. Um, hmm. Yay for science! Exactly. <laughs> wow. That, uh, 
That took. Why did that take forever? Ugh. Broken brushes? Is that what I'm looking at? Broken pencils? No, brushes. The whole thing is a mess. Well, you know what I would certainly do is put them in a thing there. Oh, God. Okay, now I can sort of see. <clears throat> and able uh, to to be able to oh in order to be able to finish the game you're going to have to get different keys to unlock different doors in this room to finish this painting. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, it does. It does. Creepy Corolli. You are right about that. out of reach. I'm like, yeah, it is. BAM! Wow. That's a great painting. No, I can't open it. Can't read it. Oofta. Now, here's another thing that I find annoying. Why? Why bother? Why waste my time opening drawers that I can't examine anything on the inside of? It just, it doesn't seem to... Uh, doesn't seem to make sense. I hear a machine. Yes! I am going in circles, actually. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, but it won't let me turn it around so I can see if there's anything on the back. If uh, You know, when I very, very first started this stream, you could uh, pick up items like uh, baby booties or a dog muzzle, and you could move them around, but you can't do that with this. No, apparently I collected it instead. But I don't know how to use things that I collect. So that's always good. So this is actually a puzzle, a, a horror puzzle game, basically. Um, oh... Okay, so whenever I get close to this painting... Stop it! Mm. Actually, uh, he looks like um, no, it totally is a bust of um, wild. Oscar Wilde. And I don't know how you are. But yeah, that looks totally like Oscar Wilde. Hmm. I have no idea. No idea. So, a bust of Oscar Wilde. Melting paintings. Insane. Crap with uh, voices you can hear. And, uh... Interesting. Oh, I'm locked in. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I have to find a way out of here. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Uh, I have played this game for several hours, and um, my problem with it is that um, I'm not really sure how it saves. When you start the game, it doesn't say, by the way, when you see this thing on the screen, mm, something's missing there. Uh, you need, you know, you'll be saving. No. No. I haven't seen that. Uh, it didn't say not to stop. Or anything. So, you know, like, when this icon comes up, don't unplug your PS4. 
though, or, I mean, which is stupid anyway, because people are running around unplugging their PS4s willy-nilly. Oh, it's about to save? Kunk? Nobody does that. <clears throat> but, uh, also, I don't know. I guess it'll be in my review. Thank you, Creepy Crawly. For basically being the only person who paid any attention to my live stream. Have a great week. This has been Keith Dunn Fernandez. My Twitter is at Keith P. Dunn. K-E-I-T-H. P as in Peter, D as in done, U N is in Nancy, N is in Nancy, <clears throat> and um, also check out at P S Nation, P S N A T I O N, PlayStation Nation. All right, kids. I'm trapped in a room. I'm scared. I can no longer go any further. All right.